Hello. Oop. Someone just said hello. Uh, if you wonder if Andy has just lost his marbles, eight, nine, ten. No, nope, they're all there. What this really is about is the loopback test that you can do on any serial adapter, um, or in this case, specifically our uh, USB to serial adapter that we use on the ESP8266 or on Arduinos or well, any microprocessor really. And I'll show you some things to do with it and the most basic test of it, which is the loopback test. And that's a bit like what I've just done with that hose. So this USB to serial adapter has a RXD pin, which sort of is the ear of the pin, and the TXD, the transmit data pin, which is the mouth. And if I have these both connected, I can plug it into my PC. It will then in the device manager show as another COM port. In this case, it shows up as COM3. Uh, here we can also check if the driver is up to date. This is usually not necessary. This Silicon Lab uh, chipset is pretty compatible and comes as a standard with Windows, so it should be found automatically. Now that we know that we have COM3, we can put that into our party configuration, click on Serial, and if I type something on the keyboard, I can see it on the screen. Uh, but don't be fooled. If your terminal program has local echo activated, this might not really go through the serial adapter. But if you see the data light flashing on the serial adapters, uh, other adapters have RXD, TXD LEDs, then you should be okay. Just for argument's sake, we'll turn on local echo. And for that reason, we can see every keystroke twice here. Once from the terminal itself and once from uh, the loopback. And we can also decode these uh, the signals on the oscilloscope. In this case, I have connected the ground pin and the TXD pin to the scope. And if we had paper and pen, we could figure out uh, which keystroke that is. But that's a different story for a different video.